Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome to the Prime Minister's office, everyone, and welcome to the launch of the Kmart uh, Christmas Wishing Tree Appeal, uh, which is done every year now for the last 27 years uh, in conjunction with uh, the Salvation Army. Uh, what happens is that right around Australia, uh, people are encouraged to uh, bring, to buy a Christmas present, uh, to bring it to the Kmart Christmas wishing tree, to leave it under the tree, uh, and then the Salvation Army distribute the gifts to needy families right around our country. It's been going for 27 years. Uh, over this quarter century or more, uh, more than six million gifts have been distributed. Uh, last year, about a half a million gifts were collected and distributed, and the salvos are hoping that, uh, again this year, some half a million or more gifts will be collected and distributed. I think this is a very good cause, and I think it's so in keeping with that Australian spirit of generosity, uh, of helping people, and of looking after people at a special time. Christmas is a special time for all of us. It's a family time. Uh, it's a time for generosity. But we all know that some families are doing it tough. Uh, we all know that some families can't be as generous to their own children as they would like. Uh, and thanks to the uh, Kmart Christmas Wishing Tree Appeal and thanks to the Salvation Army, uh, Australian families doing it tough can have a little bit of joy and life uh, and love injected into their Christmas. So it's great to be here with Bronwyn Bishop, the Speaker of the Parliament, uh, with Stephen Parry, uh, the President of the Senate. It's great to be here with Guy Russo, uh, with Commissioner James Condon, and of course with uh, Bill Shorten, the leader of the Labor Party, and Christine Mill, the leader of the Greens, because this is one of those many things on which the whole Parliament can unite. Uh, we all want every Australian family to have the best possible Christmas and that's what this Kmart Christmas Wishing Tree Appeal is all about. It's about giving every Australian family the best possible Christmas. So, Guy, uh, if, I, if you'd like to add to these remarks. I'll do my best, Tony, but thank you very much, uh, Mr Prime Minister, for inviting Kmart and the Salvation Army back into this house. Mm -hmm. um, and we're really happy that all the families that uh, operate and work and visit inside Parliament can now join the many families around Australia and New Zealand um, to help for those that are in need. And there are so many children that go without at Christmas time. And with the wonderful support of the Salvation Army, not just at Christmas time, but the wonderful work that they do every other day of the year for those that really need help. So please, you don't need to buy a gift at Kmart. You can just bring a gift from anywhere or from your home to help those wonderful children, those beautiful children that go without. So we are so honoured that the main house of Australia has invited the Kmart Wishing Tree back inside to be able to celebrate some, some joy with those that sometimes go without. So thank you very much. Good on you, Guy. Thank you. Commissioner Condon. The Christmas message is one of uh, hope, joy, love, peace. And the Salvation Army is about giving hope, love and joy at Christmas time. And I want to say thank you, first of all, to the Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, for this initiative. Thank you, Tony, for setting the example for all Australians in terms of giving at Christmas time. I want to thank Kmart today. What a history, what a partnership, the Salvation Army and Kmart for all these years. And as Tony has mentioned, some six million toys being donated through the Kmart wishing tree. And yes, we're aiming for 500,000 toys to distribute this year, along with cash donations as well. The Salvation Army Christmas Appeal depends greatly on the generosity of the Australian public at this time of the year. And the Salvation Army 
social and community services triples the service, the amount of service that it gives to Australian people. December is the busiest month, three times busier than any other month of the year. I want to thank the Leader of the Opposition, Bill Shorten, and Senator Christine Milne, Leader of the Greens, for being here today and for their support. I want to say thank you to all Australians who will give and who will be generous again. When you look at me, it may not be uh, hard to understand that down through the years, sometimes I've played the part of Santa Claus. <laughs> I don't need the pillow. <laughs> I want to finish with a very brief story. Quite a number of years ago, my wife and I were stationed as the Salvation Army officers at a regional city in Queensland. Came Christmas Eve, like other Salvation Army officers and staff and volunteers, I was feeling rather exhausted. But the phone rang, and it was a neighbour ringing to tell me about a needy family living next door. And could I come? It was Christmas Eve. Like many Australian men, I was in my singlet and stubbies. But I put on my uniform, went to our centre, loaded up the ute, and headed to the address given to me. When I arrived at the front door, I could see the lounge room. In the corner was a tree but there was nothing under the tree. And this is 8 p.m. Christmas Eve. So I quickly offloaded the ute. The mother of the children said, who told you? I said, don't worry. Don't worry about who told me. I want to say thank you to Australia. Thank you to the Prime Minister. Thank you to Kmart. The joy of giving at Christmas, remembering God so loved that he gave. Thank you. I'll say James. Bill? I'll hold the present. Okay. Right. That's a present. <laughs> <laughs> Could be from me. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. <laughs> okay. It's, um, okay, no, it's a serious moment. Um, thanks, Prime Minister, and thanks, Kmart, and thanks, Salvation Army. It's great to be here with leaders of our parliament, from Christine Milnford to Bromwell Bishop, Steve Parry, and Kevin Andrews. There are nearly three million families in Australia. Families come in all shapes and sizes. But all families love Christmas. And I think that we all love Christmas because anyone, you don't have to be a parent, you can be an aunt and an uncle or a neighbour or a cousin, we know how much children love Christmas. Children are the reason why we get up in the morning and why we do what we do during the day and why we work hard right through to the evening. But this Christmas, like many other Christmases in Australia, there will be some families and some parents who, because of circumstance, often beyond their own control, they will feel the frustration that they perhaps can't give their children the Christmas that they so desperately want for them. This is where Kmart's initiative with the Salvation Army and Parliament, I think, comes into its own. All of us want everyone's child to feel loved every day of the year but no day more so than at Christmas. So by providing these presents, what we do is we are saying to children all around Australia, you are dearly loved by your parents, your family and your friends. And what we do, by a very little gesture really in the scheme of things, by providing a present at the uh, giving tree, is we are allowing every parent in Australia the most basic pride any parent can have. That is to say that we love our children. So I really applaud the initiative. We perhaps, Tony and I don't give each other enough presents. Maybe the periodic bit of free advice. Something in the Senate, <laughs> something in the Senate would be nice, Bill. Yes, <laughs> it's not Christmas yet, but, uh, <laughs> but you never know. And, uh, but in all seriousness, mm. this is perhaps Parliament when it's, it's behaving as people would like us mm. to. And to every parent in Australia, please rest assured that we will make sure that your children get the love they want and, most importantly, they understand how much you love your kids. So it's great. Thank you. Well done. Well said. Christine? Um, thank you, Prime Minister. It's, it is wonderful to be here today to start to uh, experience the joy of Christmas. It comes very quickly each year and I particularly want to say how much I'm uh, enjoying being here with all my parliamentary colleagues and with the Salvation Army. 
There is an inequality in Australia and there are a lot of people who struggle to be able to live the life that they would like to offer for not only members of their family but the whole community. And one of the great things about the Giving Tree is it gives people the opportunity to experience the joy of giving. So much is talked about the joy of consuming and so much is about shopping, but actually it is the joy of giving that we need everyone to experience from the earliest age so that they come to understand that the joy you get in life is from what you can share with other people. And that is what the Salvation Army and Kmart and everyone who participates and puts that gift under the tree, it says to everyone who puts the gift under the tree, you will get back so much more than you're actually putting there in terms of that generosity of spirit and making life worthwhile. But then for the people for whom the gifts are provided, it matters to them because often people feel not only that it's their own fault, but they often feel excluded. As was just mentioned, the person saying, who told you? Almost the shame of feeling like you've somehow let your family down if you can't do as much as others do. And we have to change that, that the joy is for those who give and those who receive to know that they're part of this community and we all care about them. And that's why this is such an important event in the parliamentary year, and I hope that it will lead to a very successful giving tree. Thank you. Well said. Okay. Well, well said, everyone. Now, I think what we're now going to do is uh, uh, place our presence uh, at the base of the giving tree, and my hope <coughs> is that over the next few weeks in the lead-up to Christmas, uh, everyone who visits this office, and there'll be a lot of people visiting this office over the next few weeks, particularly for Christmas parties, no presents for the occupants of the office, but presents for the families of Australia who perhaps uh, uh, aren't doing it uh, quite as easily uh, as some of us. So uh, this is about doing the right thing uh, by all the people of our country. Okay, let's go through.